Russell back again for the second time today and beautiful and now Wendy and almost a clear blue sky Atlanta Georgia all right so this is gonna be a multi-day video that I'm gonna do uh, what I want to talk to you guys about is here is the area that we're gonna be working on so the project is to get this um, area of dirt right here to finish filling in like I did up here. So the last two years, basically from where this railroad tie is, all the way, and it kind of slanted up just a little bit to there, was nothing but dirt. So you can go back and look. I'll, I'll see if I can put a couple pictures from some of the videos where you can see I had some brush piled up. I had a huge bunch of privet bushes right here. It was killing the Bermuda. So I pulled them out and got it to creep up about six feet last year. And I want to continue with uh, getting it to creep up over here. So it is about... 315 now the sun in the summer is going to be a little higher than it is now uh, but i need to take care of this basically i think what i'm going to do is cut this cherry laurel completely down so that i get this nice hot afternoon sun so that's going to be the first project part of the project uh, the second part is i'm going to till up this area again um, let me see, was it last year or the year before last? I tilled all the way from over here over and I didn't, I wasn't as diligent enough about watering as I should have been when it got really busy. Um, but if I water this twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, I think I can get it to creep all the way to the fence. I am going to probably put some topsoil in here because this is super hard dirt especially if I remove this shade because it's going to be just baked by the afternoon sun over here. So, um, yep, that's what I'm going to do. Get some topsoil put in there and then till it up with it and, and keep it, keep it, uh, watered. So that's the plan. And let me just give you guys a kind of a wider shot. So basically from here over, that's the goal and yeah it's doing good i'm very pleased with how fast this was able to grow all right well uh i guess there's no sense in talking about it anymore let's um go ahead and cut this part of the cherry laurel down all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to try to do manually first with my pole saw See if that will do it.
All right, so here we are the next day. I went and got, uh, this is supposedly supposed to be topsoil. Um, there ain't much soil in here. This is three quarters of a yard. <clears throat> and uh, what this basically, they sell it as screened topsoil. As you can see, all this is, is ground up leaves and um, bushes and twigs and stuff like that. And this is what they sell around here is topsoil. Um, it's only like $30 uh, for this amount, but it ain't topsoil. Now, given enough time and enough <clears throat> decomposition, that'll make excellent topsoil. But if you're getting ready to put sod down, don't you be using that stuff. Go get some regular topsoil. Super Sod is the only place that I know that sells actual soil. And it's soil that comes off of their sod farms. And it is expensive. That amount would be $150. So it would be $120 more than that. But it's real soil. Now, for what I'm going to use it for on the hill, it's perfectly fine. Because I'm going to spread this out up there. And then I'm going to go and till it in. And it'll make a great soil amendment. It will break down over time. But the main purpose of that stuff that's sitting in the back of my truck, we'll call it topsoil. That's what I was billed at. The main purpose is to kind of aerate the clay, break it up so that it doesn't get compacted from the heat in the summer. So it will break down and it will be nice soil, but this is in no way topsoil. Mm-mm. All right, well, anyway, I got my double-wheeled uh, cobalt low special here, and we're going to just fill this up and um, spread it out on the hill. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, I believe, so I need to get a move on. If I can get everything spread out, I may try to go by Home Depot and rent the Mantis. Um, anyway, I'm going to run this on a time-lapse, so I'll just put the camera back where the hill is and we'll just run that part. You don't need to see me shoveling this so-called topsoil into this here rolling bucket. All right, let's do a time lapse. I didn't count how many wheelbarrows that was, but uh, yeah, there it is. So this would not really be enough um, unless I was going to tilt. Like, let's say this is just regular dirt. I still would want our topsoil dirt, um, but this is still, I still need to till this into the soil or else... Uh, it's just gonna wash and it's not <clears throat> it's not helping the uh, dirt below but anyway yeah so it is what time is it it's 12 41 i think i'm gonna go by home depot and see if they actually have a tiller that i can rent i don't see why not but who knows but um yeah i'll uh i'll be back in the uh tilling part hopefully it'll be in just a little while All right, so I got the tiller, same one I used last time. This one seems like it's a little newer. It's very easy to use. Just remember, you gotta pull it backwards to get the best uh, soil penetration. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna start at the top of the hill. I'm gonna go this way. It works really good pulling it up the hill, but it's, it's more work. So I'll try going uh, horizontal first.
something ain't right with this is running backwards all right so <laughs> the tines are rotating the wrong direction there's something wrong with the gear set so uh, the way it's supposed to work is the tines are supposed to rotate so it pulls the machine forward slightly and you pull it backwards uh, but the tines were rotating uh, backwards so i had to try to make this work up. This is the only one they had at Home Depot. The others were broke, imagine that. And so I went ahead and tried to do the best I could by getting real low and taking the load off the, <laughs> the front end of it and try to let it dig in. And it did a whopper on my hand, but um, I was able to get a couple of uh, four or five inches of uh, soil penetration and it worked out okay. All right, so I am done. Now, it did a really good job. It got the uh, soil mixed in with the, uh, we'll call it the quasi topsoil, but it went down about three inches or so. Something's wrong with this thing. Uh, it has like no power at all. So anyway. It's the only one they had that worked at the uh, at Home Depot, so that's why I didn't take it back. But anyway, it's not supposed to be that hard when you use one of these, but... Alright, so here's the question. Put in the comments how long you think it will take to get all of this filled into the fence. The area is about 16 by 18. Okay. I'm going to be diligent about watering it this time. Morning and evening. Just like I did here. So put down in the comments how long you think it will be. Like let's just say the month. What month do you think this will all fill in? Or do you think it will not even be this year? 2023. Just leave me a comment down there. So, all right, I gotta get this thing back. It's not supposed to rain today, but it looks like it may. So, I'm gonna clean this mantis up, take it back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Seems like it's running backwards. Tines are supposed to go forward so you can drag it back. But anyway, I got it done. All right, well, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.